Ecuador have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. The bus is lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too. And all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. Great leap! Oh, just needed a better contact. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Helps available out wide. Valencia. Oh, that's neat. Crosses in a low one. Oviedo. Forward it goes. Could move up a gear here. And here's Campbell. Brian Ruiz. He's had that, it's Campbell! A great save, real class. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Shapes to shoot, has a hit, he's delivered all right, and Costa Rica are in front. He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. I might sound a little harsh here, but the keeper, I felt, could have done a better job in ensuring that ball didn't go back out into the danger area. Costa Rica ahead, one goal to the good. He's got options out wide. Valencia. Valencia! And in it goes! Well, that's something that will make the manager proud because they dug in deep then and they've got their leveler. Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball, and it all came good. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you'll take back again. Tries to dink it in. Away from immediate danger.
defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Valencia, a real chance to break. Was there ever any doubt? Well, how's that for composure, Peter? You can see the keeper tried to put as much pressure on him by staying upright, but it didn't phase him, not in the slightest. Ecuador go into the lead. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Costa Rica have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's a... it's Campbell! He scored! And that is stunning, just too hot to handle. Oh, the contact was fantastic, right on the bootlaces, and it packed a lot of venom for what was a really potent strike. This is quite a battle. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. And it's played forward. Hoists it forward. Now the counter. Tries to get it forward quickly. Tries a shot! It's bounced out! They've scored! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! Well, he was never going to miss from there. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick-minded was that? Costa Rica take the lead. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition looked completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Tries to get it forward quickly. Just brushed off the ball there. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Dashing forward at pace. Good ball. He's got away. Oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. I really don't think you could expect anything better from the goalkeeper then. We're near heroic territory. Played out to the right. Tries lifting it over. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Costa Rica just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. 
he's made sure that that won't get through. Hoists it forward. Oviedo. And it's played forward. Campbell. It's Campbell! Oh, that was no routine save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Tries to stroke it through. Fence has got rid of that. And he's there to clear it. Steered in. Timely intervention. And that has been cleared. Oviedo. And the half-time whistle goes. So there was the first half. Oh, what a half. It's, it's been pulsating and totally absorbing. We're actually headed for a, a potential classic. And the second half gets on the way. Ecuador don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back, though. Forward it goes. And the finish! It's a goal! They have done it! They have their equaliser! Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Quite a thriller this one's become. Well, what a convincing response to going behind. They've got all the momentum now. Nicely measured pass. Keylor Navas will lay claim to that. That's been drilled forward. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Gets into a dangerous position. Tries to get it forward quickly. That quick leveller can now open this second half to this game possibly being turned on its head. Fresh impetus and encouragement is all they needed, and they've got it in abundance now. And it's Campbell. And the counter is on. That's a decent ball. Brian Ruiz. Chance! Has a goal! Just sails past the upright. Oh, and it's such a good effort. And maybe the target really should have been hit. Hoists it forward. Hoists it high. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Well, they could break here. It's got through to him. Now it's Campbell. Gets away from his opponent. It's broken loose. Oh, that Campbell! 
They've done it! And they've got their lead back. That was easy, almost too easy. Oh, Peter, that was just a, a defensive act of generosity that was always going to uh, have a painful ending. He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. This is one of the best performances I've seen in a while. He's practically taken on this team single-handedly, and they don't know how to stop him. Costa Rica get themselves into the lead. Just about up to seventy five minutes. Deflected behind for a corner kick. <laughs> Tries to get it clear. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Over to the left into the middle and he's dealt with that well keep calm and carry on that's the job in a nutshell now has a pop and the ball's come out Costa Rica are looking to make this one safe they want to reduce the risk Deflected over the goal line for a corner. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Gets the better of his man. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Strong punch. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Valencia. He's had a go! A real chance and a real let-off. Costa Rica making another change here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. And it's played forward. Fourth official showing that there will be... Hits one! And that's that. Ecuador cannot understand what they've done. From a position of strength, they have contrived to lose. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? 
Ecuador lost their way after falling behind early. Their concentration was weakened and their character, and that's cause for address.